Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Cynthia, for those of you who don't know. And on this channel, we talk about budgeting, we do catch stuffing, we also do some saving challenges. So if that's something you're interested in watching, please subscribe, hit that like button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. How are you guys? Today we're going to be doing my uh, budgeting and we're going to figure out how I'm going to spread my paycheck into these lovely envelopes. Um, because today I did get paid and I have some exciting news. I'm so excited. But without further ado, let's get started. So this is a book that my friend gave me. She saw that I'm starting to do the YouTube channel. So she's like, hey, you might need a planner. And girl, I do. And thank you so much for this. <laughs> I was already starting on writing this. And then that's when I'm like, you know what? Let me just record this video to, I guess, break down for whoever's curious um, what I do when I do use my credit card. Or credit card and debit card because I use two for this one. So, the 31st, I made a purchase on Best Buy and my boyfriend is going to be paying me back, or he paid me back, um, for $100 for his part. Petco, we do automatic food deliveries. So the first Petco charge was $65.48. On the first, we spent nothing. The second was another Petco and that was for $81.03. The third, nothing again. Fourth, uh, another Petco purchase for, this one was a lot, $189.03. This is all like recurring charges, so every third of the month, second of the month, or whatever, um, we get charged this amount because I have a cat and a dog who, I have a German Shepherd, so homegirl eats a lot. And this right here is just for her wet food alone. Um, and this, I believe, is for my cat's dry food, and this is for my dog's dry food. But this only happens, like, once every two months because we get, I think, a 40 or 50 pound bag. I don't know the size. Next thing is Petco again because this delivery didn't get here in time and it didn't get here until, what am I doing? I can't speak and talk. I can't, oh, I can't write and talk. Can y'all tell? Um, what was I saying? This was supposed to come before, but it got delayed and I don't know, her food wasn't gonna get here until Monday and we were already low, low. So we had to go out and buy her some so she could last until Monday when the delivery came. I also went to Kohl's to get my cousin a gift for his baby's uh, first communion. So we went out to Kohl's to get some gifts for him. Then on the 6th was the actual communion party thing and I needed a gift bag so I bought one at CVS. Seventh was nothing. Eighth, I paid my medical bill. I'm just gonna say medical. For blood work, and that was $28, so I'll be pulling off that. Nothing on the ninth. Today is the 10th, and nothing on the 10th. This is when I get paid, and this is like technically the new week, so this will be for the next time. So we did good. There's a whole lot of nothing days. So I'm proud of us for that. So I totaled it up and pet food in total. We spent $348. Now that's divided by my fiance and I. So my part alone is 174 I'm gonna put per person. So this is what I have to pull out of my envelope for pets. Um, right now I only have 85. When I do my next stuffing, I'll have the other half. So then I'll just pull from then because uh, my bill isn't due yet until next month. Gifts. 
aka birthdays is also my envelope so gifts b-day uh that is gonna take 45 dollars out and last one is medical and that will be taking 28 dollars so that is it for my spending. Now we're gonna move on to take out the money that I need to take out so I could make a deposit into my bank. What I'm going to do is take out, why am I here? Oh, well, I guess I could do birthdays. I need $45. So 40. Uh, five is what comes after birthdays. Sorry if it's a hot mess. I need to figure out an angle for this. So that's $45 for medical. No, not for medical. <laughs> I'm bugging. $45 for gifts that I'm going to be paying myself back. Next is hopefully you guys can't hear that music. The person upstairs is playing, is blasting their music. But it's bad bony, so you can't get mad at that. <laughs> uh, pet food. And here we have $85. Let me just double check. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. $85 in food, not in food, in pet food. So this is going to go away also to the bank. And I'm going to just transfer the 85 that's already in my account because I got my paycheck today. We're just not going to stuff the pet food envelope. I'm just going to take out that 85 automatically so I can make a payment for that. So if you guys are wondering why I won't be stuffing it, it's because of that. Uh, the other thing that I got to take out is medical. And that's going to be $28. So 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And I'll write in my trackers after that I took out that money. Sorry if my hands are all up in your faces, all up close and personal. This angle or this wires are getting in my way. Okay, so that's that. Twenty-eight plus forty-five plus one seventy-four is two forty-seven that I need. And this was two eighty, ninety, one hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty-eight, one fifty-eight. 158 plus the 85 that's already in my bank 243 so I am $4 short and that's fine because I have a buffer in my bank account anyway so this is what's going to go back into my bank along with what my boyfriend paid me so we could pay our credit card off and this is going to go away and we can move on to actually budgeting our paycheck. So this is where I write um, how I'm going to be splitting my paycheck. And the good news is, y'all ready for the good news? Your girl got a little raise because there's a girl at my job who went on maternity leave and they asked me to take over some of her work um aka a lot of her work <laughs> and i've been doing it for the past three months with no complaints uh but in my head i'm like um excuse me aren't you guys gonna be paying me a little more because i am helping you out technically but i didn't say anything and then today because the girl should be coming back by the end of this month today the owner was just like oh you know we appreciate your help thank you for like not complaining <laughs> even though I was in my head but he's like you've been so helpful like very willing to help and here's a little extra raise I don't know exactly what he gave me so I'm curious to see what my next paycheck will be because that will actually reflect the raise for the two weeks not just one week 
So I'm excited for that. So yay for a raise. More money to stuff. <laughs> My paycheck was for $1,600. Uh, and that's after taxes, obviously. I don't know why I said that. So my check was $1,600. And I know I said I wasn't going to share my income. But, you know, I feel like it's going to help somebody figure out how they can split their finances. This is the breakdown that I did. Uh, and here it'll show the two days that I get paid. So I get paid on the 10th and I get paid on the 24th. For those of you that don't know, I get paid bi-weekly. So that is why there's only two stars. So for this paycheck, I'm going to be paying anything that's due at the end of the month. And then at the end of the month, the 24th, the check on the 24th, I'll be paying the stuff that's due in the beginning of the month if that makes any sense because this paycheck is going to be paying like wells fargo for next month um wi-fi is all this is going to be due march 1st march 3rd so this last paycheck is going to be paying that while this paycheck that i got today is going to be paying stuff that's due at the end of this month that's it i'm like a week ahead on my pays not a week ahead i'm like a pay ahead a paycheck ahead <laughs> I can't talk. I am a paycheck ahead, so that's why I'm paying the stuff the way I'm paying the stuff. So rent, West Med is a bill that I got when I went to, I thought I had COVID, so they did a bunch of tests. The bill came out to like $2.45, but I don't want to pay it right at once because it just takes away money for other things. So I did a payment plan with them, so that's the $21. Apple Upstart was a loan that I took out. Um don't hate me but it's a loan that i took out to pay off my credit cards y'all don't know how many times i took out a loan to pay off my credit cards and i said i was never going to use my credit cards again and i went back to maxing them out so this is really i think my third loan that i took out to pay off my credit cards and this is going to be my final loan that i took out to pay off my credit cards the reason why i'm not focusing on um adding more money into this is because uh it, there's no interest or anything it's just well, there is interest when I took out the loan, but is this is just the set amount that I'm paying. Like, it can't go up, nothing. This is the number that I'll be paying that loan. So, I'm just going to be keeping it at that until maybe once I complete the 100 envelope challenge, I'll put half of that into this loan and then the other half into more savings. I have to decide what I'm going to do. But for now, this is what that is. Um, am I proud of it? No, but it is what it is. And this is why I started doing the cash envelope system so I could stop using my credit card because I was heavy, 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 heavy credit card user, like heavy credit card user. Uh, State Farm and Netflix, which I think it's like 15, 20 after taxes because they started doing freaking taxes. So I want to say it's 15, 20 for that. Um, and HBO. So adding that up, let's see what it comes out to. So this is seven hundred and five with fifty nine cents. So we're gonna do minus sixteen hundred. So I have a remainder of eight ninety four forty one. $400 goes for food. So $8.94 minus $400. Gas gets, I'm upping gas again because the prices are just going up. And pet food gets $85. Not that. So let's see. $400 This alone is $605. So my remainder is going to be. 289 to play with. So I'm gonna write down all my envelopes and then just go from there, right? I think so. And my 
100 envelope challenge. And that alone is $82 because that was my last drawing. So $82. So see, $289 minus $82. So I have $207. I want to put Valentine's Day is coming up. So I want to put a lot more there. I'm going to scratch that because there's not what's going to happen. Let's write it over here. So $82 for that. Uh, ma, 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 ma. What do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. Valentine's Day. I want to focus on that. So let's do 100 for Valentine's Day because that shit is coming up. Oops, excuse my cursing. Because that is coming up and I just want to be safe rather than not budget enough. Definitely pet emergency. I'm going to put 25 for there. Car expense. My oil change is coming up, so we're going to put 25 there. Greens, we're going to put 5 Can you all see my... <laughs> What's the word? Priorities. <laughs> Car expense. We're going to make this 27 because those $3 in that envelope are bugging me, so we're going to make that two more dollars. Health, so we get to $5. 20 20 and the last five. I could go on date night. So nothing for vacation. Nothing for future. Nothing for anniversary. Mother's Day, Father's Day, quince. Beauty is gonna roll over. So if I have rollover money, that's what gets stuffed. So I should be at a zero based. Let's double check. Oh, I hate this calculator. Oh yeah, because I have 41 cents right here and I just don't even count that. So that's why we have 41 cents over, which is AKA zero base balance. And that is all we undone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me forever, but I got it. <laughs> uh, so these denominations right here are going to be divided into two, which is why I always have um, a small stuffing every week. Just so I can make a video for you guys. Uh, because I love being here and I love chit-chatting with you guys. Um, I want to say that is it. Oh, no. I was supposed to do easy pass. Ugh. I think I did ten dollars in my easy pass. So we're gonna sacrifice greens and we're gonna sacrifice health. And we're just gonna write easy pass here. Ten dollars. Over here. This is a hot mess. I am so sorry. I'm going to rewrite this so I could make sense of it. Or I'll make sense of it, but <sighs> Sorry, y'all. It's messy. It is what it is. This is what happens when you guys watch me doing it. Technically live, but not really live. <laughs> um, That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit that like button. Whoop, sorry. Let me know if you liked what I did. Obviously, I'm going to do it nicer the next time because this is like my first time trying this and it was a little rough, but we got through it. Let me know if you like this, or if you don't, I just won't do it, and I'll just do it off camera. Um, I just wanted to like show you guys a little bit of how I come up with these numbers. That is it. I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video, which will be on Monday. So, I'll catch you then. Bye! Do you all see how I find this boy? I don't even know how. Oh, hello, senor. How <laughs> did you end up here? Hi, handsome boy. My sleepy baby.